The curtain wall tool has been renewed in ARCHICAD 22 by focusing on the design process and making the tool easy and fun to use. Enhancements have been made in the areas of pattern definition and graphical pattern creation. For both curtain wall pattern columns and rows, ARCHICAD 22 now offers three different pattern distribution options. Fixed sizes, best division, and number of divisions, each with multiple additional options for panel distribution. The preview window of curtain walls has been enhanced. Frames and panels can be added to, modified, and deleted from the pattern. They can also be selected and their frame or panel class modified. Crossing frames may also be added, offering greater versatility in pattern creation. By default, new curtain wall schemes are also offered as favorites for easier curtain wall pattern creation. You can load a scheme favorite that approximates your desired pattern and modifies it to your desired pattern. ARCHICAD 22 enables graphical curtain wall pattern creation right within the tool's edit mode. Any number of frames and panels may be placed to create the curtain wall's pattern unit. A new pattern box feature lets you define the exact size and location of the pattern and the frames and panels to be included in it. Based on this, ARCHICAD automatically creates the curtain wall pattern. Even an entire curtain wall segment may be modeled as a large single custom pattern. Simply enter edit mode in 3D or in a section or elevation viewpoint and create all frames and panels for the custom curtain wall. There are no limitations to the number of frames or panels that can be used in such a custom curtain wall pattern. The floor plan representation of curtain walls has also been enhanced. A new projection mode field enables you to configure the floor plan representation of curtain walls by providing separate settings for overhead components, cut components, and uncut components. Cut components have the new hybrid floor plan display option, in which frames are displayed projected while panels are displayed using symbolic representation. Curtain walls can now be displayed at varying levels of detail, thanks to a brand new curtain wall options panel in the model view options dialog. Using the options in this panel, frames, panels, junctions, and accessories can each be made visible or hidden and can be set to any of three different detail levels. Full, simplified, or schematic. Frames have a fourth detail level as well, access only. Since these settings are part of model view options, View-dependent levels of detail can be achieved for curtain wall components for better representation and documentation. Curtain wall input has also been simplified and enhanced. The curtain wall height, bottom offset, and slant angle values can now be specified in the settings dialog prior to placement. As a result, curtain walls can now be placed faster, requiring only two clicks. During placement and editing, ghost lines display the curtain wall pattern grid to give you an idea of how the curtain wall will look like after the placement or editing step. It is now possible to define as many frame classes and panel classes for curtain walls as required. Each class has its own separate building material, uncut line pen, cut line type, cut line pen, and surface override setting. The curtain wall tool includes a new built-in frame class named corner frame. A corner frame is automatically placed at each clicked node of the curtain wall reference line. Six new GDL objects are available as default content for corner frames.
New frame and panel GDL objects have also been added. The two new frame GDL objects are Profiled Frame 22 and Profile Butt Glazed Frame 22. Both can use profiles created in the Profile Manager dialog. The Profile Manager by default includes several frame profiles for use with curtain wall frames. Additionally, standard steel profiles imported into the Profile Manager can now also be made available for library parts, and thus curtain wall frames. One of the two new panel GDL objects is CW Profiled Edge Panel 22. The panel has a profile running around its edges and it can use profiles created in the Profile Manager dialog. The other one is CW Polygonal Window 22, which was created for use in non-rectilinear curtain wall schemes, such as honeycomb patterns. All frame and panel GDL objects have been updated to utilize the latest curtain wall enhancements. These GDL objects now have a 3D detail level parameter, using which their detail level can be specified to be defined either by MVO settings, or the detail level can be set for each component instance separately. They also incorporate the same modeling and representation parameters, including uncut line pen, surface override, cut line pen, cut line type, and building material settings. Annotation of curtain walls and curtain wall components has also been enhanced. The text or auto text label can be used to display auto text for curtain wall frames and panels since all curtain wall component parameters are now available as auto text in text blocks and labels. Additionally, any number of lines, arcs, polylines, and text blocks containing curtain wall component related auto text can be selected and saved as a custom label. then used by the Label tool to display the exact desired information in the desired graphical format. The updated and renamed Label Components of Selected Elements command lets you label curtain wall components in sections and elevations by selecting any or all frame classes and panel classes defined for the curtain wall. You can label all components or only the classes selected in the dialog. Please watch all other clips in this playlist for more detailed presentation of the new curtain wall features in ARCHICAD 22.